Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I have it on my skin right now, so I'm going to be doing um, a couple check-ins throughout the day and let you guys know how this foundation is holding up. And I also do a easy look using the Kathleen Lights and Morphe collaboration. I wanted to do something really simple focus on the skin simple on the eyes and really easy to do and achieve so if you like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching I already went ahead and primed my skin with the NYX pore filler and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation I'm gonna use the infallible total cover in the shade 302 and I'm going to go ahead and put it on my Morphe mixing tray and then apply it onto my face. So just from squeezing the foundation, it does come out pretty thick. And I'm going to go ahead and get my e.l.f. stippling brush. Kind of stipple it over the tray. And apply. I've never used this foundation. I've seen a couple videos. On it so let's see how this goes it is pretty thick exactly how it comes out I feel like it looks on the skin like it does get really good coverage but it's just too thick I may have applied a little bit too much on that side we can blend it out with our damp sponge in a minute. As for the color, I think I should have gone a little darker. We'll see once it's all blended out, but just the shade range in this foundation is just so like pinky, like the undertones are just really odd. It wasn't easy finding the color like in the other L'Oreal foundations. I'm just taking a little more for my nose and I do have a lot of texture going on right now that's why I went in with a pore filling primer hopefully to fix the imperfections I have right now so now to blend it out with our sponge Okay, so our foundation is now blended out. Uh, let's go ahead and see the claims this foundation says. Pro face and body foundation, ultra lightweight, seamless coverage. It has a finish that's natural, wears up to 24 hours, the coverage is high, and the texture is air light. I do agree with the air light texture. Like, it is very thick. But blending it out onto my skin, I went ahead and applied it with the e.l.f. stippling brush and then I blended it out with the Real Techniques. It does dry fast, so you want to work quickly. Someone with dry skin, I feel like it kind of emphasized a little bit of my dryness, but not too much to where it's like I can't wear it. Maybe mixing it with an oil next time, it'll you know blend out easier i think i waited too long to blend it out you know going in with the stippling brush and then the beauty blender so maybe a brush might work out next time not sure really like it the color wasn't too much of a difference it's not that bad i think i kind of went spot on with it i think 303 might have been too dark and i would have had a mix colors so so um yeah let's i'll do a check-in later on throughout the day and see how this foundation is holding up because claiming that it's 24 hours i mean that's a long time so we'll see and also for the coverage saying it's high i think it's more medium to buildable and i think that because 
And there are some areas that it did cover and then there are some that it didn't cover that well. So it could have been I didn't apply to a lot of foundation in that area. But to claim if it's high coverage, I feel like it could have covered better. But personally, I do like that it's medium coverage. So now moving on to concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that under my eyes to conceal my dark circles. And today I wanted to use a concealer that I knew I really did like so I could really see how the foundation worked. Now blending it out. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush brush to set my under eyes and the eco tools for my face. And then for setting powder, I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And now we're going to go ahead and prime our eyes with the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. And we're going to go ahead and set it with the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Eyeshadow. So I'm really enjoying the combination of the Essence eyeshadow primer with the creme brulee from Wet n Wild eyeshadow. I really like the combination and the coverage it gives my eyes. It really does help hide the pigmentations in my veins. So this is definitely worth it. Now moving on to brows, I'm going to use same products as usual, my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Powder Duo in the shade Medium Brown and this Bodyography Pro Eyebrow Brush. Okay, eyebrows are done. So for eyeshadow today, I really wanted to use the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette again. I know my last tutorial was with me using it, but this time I wanted to use it and kind of stick to the original side I wanted to focus on instead of the pops of color I really wanted to incorporate the warms and do a pretty simple look. Today I have to go to the grocery store and do a little bit of shopping so I don't want anything too smoky and like wow out there like my last look. Um, today I'm not going to do lashes or liner so I'm pretty much just going to use some of the warm shades in this eyeshadow palette so let's get started. So today, since we already have our base done and I don't want to really mess up my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use the Shadow Shields. I picked these up, I believe, on Amazon. They do sell them on Morphe.com, I believe, and I've used them before. I really like them. They really do catch all the, sh all the fallout, and they're really easy to apply, so they look like this like that and then they come with like adhesive on the or like you peel it off and then you apply it I'm just gonna peel off the center and then apply because last time I used them um, I peeled off the whole thing and then put it on and 
my foundation came off, which wasn't that bad, but I was able to blend it out with a beauty blender and add a little bit more powder. It was baking under my eyes for a while, but today I don't really want to do that, so I'm just taking off the middle portion and putting it on. Like so. So it's like this. I'm kind of using it because I'm going to be using a little, um, I don't want to say darker, I guess darker, warmer shades in the outer portion of my eye. And then I also want to use it to kind of create that edge since I'm not going to be going in with liner today. So like I said, this look is going to be really easy. I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette and I'm going to dip into this warm shade right there since we already, oh no, <laughs> look, I dug my nail into it. Oh, poor shadow. No. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. And work that into my crease. And then to further blend that out, I'm going to use this shade right here. And then kind of in the outer corner, I want to mix kind of this color with a little bit of that. And you're going to want to get another brush and just blend it all out. Now that that eye is all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and go into this beautiful champagne -y shade, the one I just dug my nail into. And I'm going to go ahead and put that all on the lid. And then I'm going to blend out the outer corner with this champagne -y shade. So get your fluffy brush and just blend it out. And then once you're done with the eye, you can either go ahead and do a wing liner, apply false lashes. Uh, my day is going to be pretty busy after this, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply mascara. And I completely forgot to mention um, the lower lash line. So we're pretty much going to do all the colors we've worked into our crease. So this shade right here this shade and then for the outer corners these two so i went ahead and applied mascara i used my essence lash princess mascara and then on the waterline i used thrive cosmetics brilliant eye brightener it looks like this and it's Just this champagne -y color. I used it to kind of give me brightness in my waterline and really open up my eyes. So moving on to face, I'm going to go ahead and use my Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. So now that bronzer is done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Morphe 9N palette. It has nine shadows. They're very neutral. There you go. Going in with this shade right here in the middle. Head and apply it. went ahead and just kind of cleaned it up a little cleaned up the bronzer the blush and well that's 
baking, I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlight. So this is a pinky, bronzy look, and we're in winter. Um, really missing spring and summer, kind of. Um, but I really want this to be all about the skin and glowing. I'm really liking the foundation so far. Everything is blended onto it so nicely. Um, I'm very surprised. I honestly thought I was not going to be too fond of it because it did feel drying. But honestly, it blended into my skin so nicely. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. It looks like this. I got it in my Ulta haul. And it's in the shade Catwalk Pink. And this highlight is definitely enough, but I also kind of want to show you guys how this one works. This is a Wet n Wild Color Iconic Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. And... It says bronzer. It's not bronzer. This isn't dark enough to bronze anyone. It is very light. So I'm just going to apply a very tiny bit over the other highlight I was using. But I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a large fluffy brush. So going with this look, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Essence Lip Liner in 11 in the Nude and line my lips. And to go over that, I'm going to use the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm So far, I'm really liking this foundation. Like I said, I will be doing another check-in um, a little later on in the day. Right now, it is 11.50. So uh, I'm going to go about my day, and in a little, I'll come back and do a check-in and see how this foundation is holding up. So I'll see you guys then. So I'm back now for a check-in. This is what my foundation looks like. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. So I've zoomed you guys in a little. This is what it looks like close up. I do have some creasing right here in my smile lines. I have some smile line creasing um it has kind of caked up or, or not caked up it kind of right here where my nose is kind of formed a line I guess you could say um but overall I think the foundation looks pretty good let me go ahead and zoom you guys out real quick and right now it is four 52. So I've had this foundation on for about five ish hours and I think it's holding up very nicely. I have not put any powder on my face either. I did all my errands. I went grocery shopping. I went to the drugstore and I picked up some goodies that you guys will be seeing a video on after this video. I picked up some drugstore liquid lipsticks and yeah I think this foundation is holding up beautifully my skin feels so nice it actually feels like I'm wearing I don't want to say like a BB cream because the BB cream I use is so light but this gives me such great coverage it feels so light like you can tell I have foundation on but it's not like oh her face just looks like cake and cake and cake of makeup no it feels so nice like I can touch my skin and it just feels so so good so far I am really loving the L'Oreal Infallible total cover 
I do feel like the shade range is hard when I was at Walgreens. Um, I saw the display again and I was looking at 203 and I feel like I would not be able to, you know, actually use that. I feel like the undertone in it would just, it just wouldn't go with my skin tone. So I feel like if I were to have to mix it, I would have to mix it with a different foundation to get like my actual shade. Although. I do feel like this foundation does match me pretty well. I've had worse foundations. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do some more things around the house, uh, play with my kids, um, eat some dinner, and I will probably be seeing you guys later because I'm going to be filming another video. So maybe later on tonight, I'll go ahead and give you guys another check-in. I'll, I'll give you guys my final check-in. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, I'm back for my final check-in. It is now 10.09. And I've worn this foundation for pretty much over 10 hours now. I'm still pretty much in love with it. I'm talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage. Um, how do I feel about it? I still pretty much like it. I like how pretty much my forehead and my cheeks held up the best. My nose kind of broke up on the sides and on the tip. My upper lip and chin area kind of got, you know, the smile line. I kind of got a bit um, oily right here and on the chin area I want to say I powdered once and that wasn't just getting powder like you know dipping my brush into powder that was just whatever was on the brush I just lightly dabbed it all over my nose and on certain parts where I was oily and that was it so for pretty much no powder at all today I think this foundation held up so nicely um it pretty much worked for it was longer than i usually wear makeup for i usually only wear makeup for like six hours in a day so honestly i think for me it's a go <laughs> like i would definitely recommend this especially well if you have really dry skin drier than me i think maybe going in with an oil would be best if you have very oily skin, I'd say try it out. It might work out really nicely for you because with my dry skin, it was kind of hard to blend out. But once it blended out, I just feel like it just looks so nice. And today I really wanted to focus on skin, have my skin speak for itself, like really look nice and healthy. And I've really been liking that look recently. Doing less on the eyes and more on the face and make it really glowy, bronzy. And I feel like I was able to do that and really keep a nice face. So let me go ahead and give you guys a close up on how it looks. So I brought you guys in closer. This is how my foundation held up. As you guys can see in the nose area right here, it kind of broke up a bit. Um, in this area, like I had said before, it kind of did get a little patchier and kind of greasier if you'd say. My forehead looks flawless. It didn't, you know, seep into my lines really like badly kind of right here but for wearing it over 10 hours I think that's perfectly fine um and especially for the price I believe this is under 12 13 dollars depends where you buy it um but it's really really affordable as well it's not even high end and it held up so nicely um my chin as well you know the smile lines go down to about right here and then just a little bit of patchiness here and then in my chin, that's pretty much it. So honestly, for such an affordable foundation, I totally think it's worth it.
So I definitely give this foundation a go. If you were thinking about trying it, if you were unsure, I would say try it out. You can always return it. Just go ahead and keep your receipt. And yeah, so if you like these types of videos, these types of reviews, then go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'll definitely be doing more. Just let me know if you want to see foundation reviews, eyeshadows, just let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.